Yeah. So, like, why would you flex that? That's I would like... not tell a single soul if that That's... was me. Dude, if I was having a midlife different... crisis, I would not have spent eight months in a police academy. Oh no, wait, he's the, the dog guy? Yes. Never mind. Watch yeah. our other episode about how we feel about this guy's enforcement. Never mind. If they're hurting for manpower like they probably are now, they're like, you want to be a cop? Sure. Oh, I feel like... What is going on, internet? Welcome to Only Comps. This is Josh and Bill, and we are here with another Officers React. Thank you to the people in the comment section. Because of you, we are doing episode one of The Rookie, as it's been highly requested. So you asked, we're delivering. That's very accurate for uh, bank security. Yep. You never see, like... Come on, this guy's wearing, this guy's Come wearing on. airsoft <laughs> face equipment. Maybe those are airsoft guns. Whoa, 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 whoa. Down now. JC, you okay? you want to die? To be anything. You this think that Carhartt really jacket would stop a bullet? Same no. thing that's happened to me in a lot of years. Is... Got to test that. Sounds Internet, sad. go tell me. Sounds sad. Someone can test it. Look at us. Ooh. If you get up again, I will kill you. You got that? Very direct. Yeah, very direct. Hey, listen. Not that you're in any position to judge. I mean, I mean, your life hasn't really turned out the way you want it, has it? Unless you want. That kind of looks like Jim Carrey in the eyes. <laughs> like, saying he's not funny anymore. He's just violent. Yeah. Hey, at least she yelled it when she shot him. That's true. <laughs> That's an announcement. Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Agree. Yes. Hundred percent. No. That's no, not brave. That's That's stupid. stupid. Um, oftentimes, like a bank robbery won't have that long of a suspenseful stare down. <laughs> I'm not a subject not matter be expert in bank dialogue. robberies. I think it would have just been a gunshot. Yeah. That's that, that's a. Uh, I, I, if you're a victim in this instance, I'm, I, I would say do anything you can to obviously protect yourself, but to uh, surreptitiously, even if you needed to, try to like delay any of this stuff from happening. Uh, the silent alarm is a good idea. Silent alarms do not work that fast. Also, can we just be real? Let them take the money. Yeah. It's, it's really worth it's dying worth, over. Yeah. The uh, bank's insured. Th this is becoming less frequent of a thing just because oh, yeah. banks are like, they don't keep like accessible cash and stuff no. like that. Even a lot of uh, uh, like local stores, they'll only keep so many. Like I just, uh, I just own only robbers here. Uh, it's just not really. These types of robberies are becoming less and less profitable. So it's probably not worth catching the felony or the the fuck around and find out person in this uh, store. Not so I, close, I, dude. but that being said, um, yeah, it's pretty bold. I don't know that. Uh, I don't know that I'm unarmed. It's great for TV. Going to try to verbal judo that. Uh, and then as far as the officer presence, typically you're going code Yeah. to this. Uh, even in an enclosed building like that, a lot of times we would kill our sirens I mean, within out. a mile of getting to where I needed to go if I didn't want them knowing I was getting there. Um, you didn't hear sirens, so mm -hmm. that was pretty common for that. But I could see in a big city like that, uh, sirens are going to bounce off of walls and a stuff lot. like that. Yeah. So, uh, probably but, hear them coming. Uh, arriving... In a way to not alert the bad guys to your presence does make sense in this instance because you do have victims being held at gunpoint here. Um, shout out to the cops. So also for just maybe going not pull up in front of the front door. Yeah, that too. Staging's definitely a thing. <laughs> uh, I get the like visual of it yes. that they just yeah. want them, but it's typically not a great idea. Um, there and there are examples. There's real world examples when police arrive on scene directly in front of, and they're automatically taking take, rounds. Take fire, yeah. You're not. You haven't even left your car. So just be careful. Just free advice, I guess, for people that are cops. And then for show writers, um, just kind of show it at an angle with them parking down and running. Do, do, cut the B-roll. Yeah. There's my consult, free consulting fee for them. Uh, but I do like uh, that they came in and kind of shot first and asked questions later on that. Also, it was like, shoot and announce. At the same yeah, time. yeah. You do have an obligation to announce to a certain degree because a lot of what happens in these instances, you have to knowingly and intentionally commit a crime or, like, not. So, like, they can't really charge this guy with resisting or not following a lawful order. Or <laughs> They didn't really give any. They just kind of went in there. But also be careful if you're a civilian. So imagine if uh, Officer, or I guess pre-Officer Nolan here was a civilian in that setting and did. Let's say he was holding the guy at gunpoint yeah. on the ground. 
if the officers used the same tactics and just went in and shot the first guy they saw holding a gun, civilian. you might have... Uh, Mr. Nolan just would have been a dead guy as opposed to an officer for the rest of the show. Just be really careful. Really quick show. Yeah, yeah. Episode if, one, he's, if you're he's done. a CHL carrier in this instance, be mindful of that. Also, it would be valuable if you're holding somebody at gunpoint and doing, I guess, like a citizen's arrest, get on the horn and notify somebody dispatch. You can even send one of the people that are in this bank to go out in front and be like, hey, we got the guy at gunpoint. Yeah, I mean, if you're that secure. Yeah, you won't, you won't have that much time, nor will you probably have that presence of mind. But I guess no. if, if in some fantasy land you ever get stuck in the situation and best... The robbers, just keep that in mind. You're sticking the cops in a really bad situation to have to make very split-second decisions for you. But stupid. Uh, let's not secure the shotgun like that. <laughs> it goes off again. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. Let's not do that. Let's not. Could you imagine? Could you imagine? Yes. Just ending into the ceiling while Boom. holding the guy. <laughs> oh, look at it. Nine months later. That's about how yeah, long baby? it takes to apply. If he applied that day to a police department, it takes about that long to get to the whole thing. Imagine moving across the country. Yeah. That's a nice ride. Yeah. I think I'm going to have to take it off your hands. You're going to steal my car. The one that broke down two blocks ago? Yeah. Maybe take you for a spin, too. Officer Chen, reporting for uh, I love Rookie Day. I bet you do. FTOs do not love Rookie Day. He does. Yeah, he might. Only because we know what he does. That's true. His rookie. You could talk. You better pray I'm not your training officer, Boot, because I'll make your life a living hell. You think he said that to Chen when they got married? <laughs> I'm going to keep making your life a living hell. He'd be deeply disappointed if I failed to do so now that I've joined him in service. Your father is Commander West of Internal Affairs. Yes, sir. Pause it. Not a flex. Not you at just all. instantaneously made everyone hate you. Yep. <laughs> like, why would you flex that? That's I would like... not tell a single soul if that <laughs> that's, was me. That's like that's like the equivalent of do you know who my dad is? That's like, 100% for any, that, what he it's just what said. he did, but it's like the worst case scenario of that. Mm. That would be like trying to impress your high school friends and your dad's the principal. Yeah. Like, it's just not... Or, like, the detention You guy. better be nice to me or I'll tell my dad. I'm gonna tell my dad. That's, like, the most Sweet. weak sauce thing. I typically... I actually end up liking this character. I don't. Room, but he... <sighs> oh, no! Wait, he's the, the dog guy? Yes. Never mind. Watch yeah. our other episode about how we feel about this guy's enforcement. Never mind. I do get a little frustrated with this kid. This is par for the course for him, then. Mm-hmm. <laughs> par for the course. Smart. <laughs> Where you going, Boop? Uh, locker room, then roll call? Oh, no, you need to present yourself to the captain mm. first. That's it's tradition. Says. Down the hall, oh, up the stairs. Oh, that's fucked up. Uh, yeah, thank you. That's accurate. Hey, MP. No, I can see that. That's I can see. That's fair. Can I help you? Officer John Nolan, reporting for duty. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get punked, Officer Nolan? No, ma'am. I just... Mm -hmm. Your file confuses me, Officer Nolan. Penn State, pre-law within 20 years in construction. Now you got solid marks at the academy. You certainly have a Did work ethic. Mm -hmm. Cholesterol level, I've never seen in a rookie. I'm something of a pioneer. He had nine months to Do figure out if it was a joke or not. <laughs> I'm here to work and I won't let you down. We'll see. Roll call is in five minutes and the watch commander is so a honestly, stickler. If he's been through the academy already, they're saying he applied, got accepted, did academy all it's in like nine a year. months. Yeah. Well, that's wild. Well, you got to think. So, like, I think LAPD's got a pretty short. It's like a five-month academy. It's pretty short, mm -hmm. to my understanding. Ours was long. Ours was like eight and eight a half. Eight months, yeah. Typically, your application process by itself is going to be months. minimum six to seven months. Unless you mine like, was, damn near pre-approved. I think mine was seven. Yeah. Six or seven. Yeah, so and that was like continuous, yep. like... It yep. wasn't like, oh, hey, you the, we'll contact you, yeah. and then we'll get going. Yeah, you have like, like your initial application. Uh, if it's civil service, you have a civil service exam. Yep. You have the physical application. Then you have like your initial round of background checks. Yep. They'll see if they have just like automatic disqualifiers. They'll do polygraphs where we come from. They do polygraphs. Mm -hmm. 
You have another secondary interview that you have to go do. Then they have like a secondary background check. We the psyche get eval. Crowned, a psyche eval. They, like, there's a lot that happens yeah. before you get there. So nine months from bank robbery to cops, pretty, pretty fast. fast. Yeah. Um, but if you have these places that have shorter academies, I could see that. Yeah. Um, and if they're hurting for manpower, like they probably are now, they're like, you want to be a cop? Sure. Oh, I, feel like, you go. I feel like LA's probably always needing yeah. manpower. And, and most big departments, again, we were top 10 cities in Texas, mm-hmm. uh, they have two to three academies a year. Yeah. So you're constantly recruiting, constantly trying to hire, constantly vetting. They have a whole dedicated system for just this. Um, but that was really realistic hazing. Oh, I yeah. can see that. 100%. 100% realistic hazing. That was funny. Yeah, that was good. All right, be safe out there. Officer Bishop, I need a word with your rook. Yes, sir. You were late. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Go home. <laughs> Heard you talk to the captain. Yeah. So far. Oh, yes, sir. I don't okay. care. So I Why don't are they grilling care. him? It's not because he's old. I guess. I hate what you represent. A walking midlife crisis. You see, the LAPD isn't a place for you to find yourself. And I believe if you succeed, my house will be flooded with middle-aged losers looking for some kind of eat, pray, love path to reinvention. And that will get my people killed. Sergeant, you're dismissed. Pause it real quick. This uh, supervisor represents a violation of the ADA. Um, (laughs) uh... All right, calm down. He's not that old. I I am with you that that I, I don't think law enforcement should be a thing you do for fun. Uh, nor do I think it's because like a lot of people will. But will, hey, if you're worried about that, then put age limits on it, like civil service well, departments and, and, do. And that's kind of what I was getting at. Is like a you lot of times you can't be mad if you don't have those things. In if place. he meets all the requisite things, yeah, and he passed, he passed both your internal interview process, your initial and your academies, which should tell you whether or not the person's up to muster on that. You've had. Dude, if I was having a midlife different... crisis, I would not have spent eight months in a police academy. That's kind of what I'm getting at. Like, like I could get it if if it's like, um, like just like a radical job shift yeah. or something like yeah. that. And I understand there's a safety component to this, like um, going from construction to like, but also bartending. Like, everything he's done prior to being a cop sucks. The yeah. academy sucks. Yes. The interview process sucks. sucks. The field training aspect of this sucks. So it's not like he's getting to do like cool fun stuff. No. For his midlife crisis, like you could pick like a motorcycle's a lot more exciting than this. And also this department. That's what like, I was getting at. Yeah, he picked he picked a hard city to go work in, and they they're hurting for. Of course, I, yeah. I understand from a cinematic standpoint why the conversation happened, and there's a storyline within that, right? But like, you had 18 different opportunities to say that this guy wasn't good enough to be mm-hmm. a cop, and he's passed all those so far. He and he still has more to pass. He could have just let this guy wash out an FTO. We had people that washed out within weeks of FTO. Mm-hmm. They never should have made it to the academy. Agreed. But agreed. <laughs> uh, but the the but they did. I, I think it's not. That's not a fair speech to him, who's willing to show up and go do the job. I would take anyone who's willing to show up and do the job the right way mm-hmm. and come about it for the right reasons, because he doesn't know. And I'd rather have someone yeah. older than twenty one. Agreed. Fresh. Youth does not make you good. It's not like a young man. It's a young man's game health-wise probably, but it's not a young a man's bit. game as far as doing the job judiciously. Yeah. I really do think there's a certain amount of wisdom you need and perspective you need to do this job consistently well. Because it's all judgment. It's not necessarily, and a lot of people will have conversations about, and there is a fitness component to it. You, obviously, you're going to fight people. You're going to get into foot chases. You're going to get your heart elevated. You're going to be sleep deprived. All of those things you do better with when you're in better shape. But like, what the important part of this job is judgment. That's like the a number one important thing. And I think universally we would all accept the younger you get, the worse your judgment is. And I would be yeah. more concerned about a young officer. And we had this while we were there. Several younger officers that make terrible judgment calls that cost people's lives versus older officers that might take a half second to get to the foot chase, right? Or might take a little bit longer to go do or whatever. Or they use their car because they're smart. Exactly. Uh, but that are using good judgment more consistently. That That's my only issue with that speech yeah. from an ethos standpoint law enforcement. 
So that was part one of three for episode one, season one of The Rookie. Uh, it was pretty decent. Yeah. I, I think I'm interested to see where the, the rest of this goes. Uh, if you like this type of content, and a lot of you have in the comment section, go ahead and let us know in the comment section that I thank you for doing more Rookie episodes. Uh, sorry there's no Chen Ferdy yet. Not yet. <laughs> um, but the, there's uh, a Chen Nguyen. Chen Nguyen. <laughs> That's going on right now. Uh, if you guys have any other type of other shows you'd like us to see, also go ahead and put it in the comment section. As this episode shows you, we do read those and do react to those. Uh, if you guys would like, uh, you guys can see us every Monday and Thursday at 7.30 Central Standard Time. We go live here on YouTube and on uh, probably no other platforms. So I feel like doing that. Um, and yeah. then if you would like to contribute more, we do have a Patreon group. It's as little as a dollar a month, and that gives you access to our Discord. Uh, you can go ahead and get 24 unfettered access for 24-7. And, uh, unless we need you. Unless we need you. So uh, go stay tuned for part two, and we will see you guys in the next one.